Buenas tardes. It's, it's, it's technically still, unless it's on the East Coast, it's, it's now, now it is, now it is, it is like 8.01 p.m. So now it's buenas noches on the East Coast. It's buenas noches on the East Coast right now. It's 8.01 p.m. Eastern. So buenas noches, East Coast. Buenas tardes, um, Mountain, Mountain, Western, Pacific, Standard, whatever. Um, okay, so what, what I want to get to, okay. So I want to talk about, what about these, what about people that are just, uh, they're the most dramatic the terms are always used. Like, have you ever met anyone who's never had a headache? They always, whatever they have, it's, not, it's never a headache, it's always a migraine. Or what about people that they've never had, like, a case of the jitters or anxiety or even an anxiety attack? And I quote, they've never had, it's always a panic attack. I mean, if they're having anxiety, it doesn't matter if they're getting on an airplane where jitters and anxiety is normal. If you're flying across the Atlantic for the first time, for example, I flew across the Atlantic several years ago, and I was I was in a state of I, I was in a state of nerves. Yeah, my nerves were a bit. I was having some anxiety. Yeah, a little bit of anxiety, afraid nerves. Yes, yes, I had anxiety. Yes, but what about the people that never have anxiety? They always have anxiety. They always have panic attacks. I'm not even talking about anxiety attacks. I'm talking about full blown panic attacks. They've never had an anxiety attack that wasn't referred to as a panic attack. And I believe it's the same, it's the same type of person that, you know, they would never have, uh, you know, a, a headache, a tension headache, a stress headache, a sinus headache would never, ever, would never exist. It would always be uh, a migraine. You know, it's this type of person, you know, that I've dealt with my whole entire life, my whole entire life, you know. And uh, so what about, so, so have you ever dealt with this type of person? Have, has anybody ever dealt with this type of person? I come from a very, very dramatic, over dramatic family. I mean, pushing buttons of other people was like, that's just how they operate, you know? I would like to, th I would like to live in a world where if, if someone could identify a button in another being, another human being, they would not deliberately go neener, 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 You know, assuming anybody has like an actual, yeah, like anybody has, people have, oh yeah, oh, people have their salty areas, you don't want to touch, or their sensitive areas, you know, but to go neener, 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 when you find like a cannibal chicken would do to just go neener, 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 and try to like a noise and to rub salt in the wound, like kind of like rub salt in the wound. I mean, I find that, um, remarkably uh, appalling, really. I mean, I, this is the kind of people I had to grow up around. I had to be in the midst of the gorillas in the midst. I mean, I had, I had apes in them. I had like roboticized in my midst, in the midst. It was, it was not, it was not the, it was my, my version of Diane Fossey's classic or the film about Diane Fossey is gorillas in my midst or just robots in my midst, you know, and the, that's all I got. Have a good have a good evening. Buenas tardes. Buenas noches, East Coast. Um, and then Buenas tardes, West Coast. And then eventually it'll be Buenas noches. And then again, it'll be Buenas dias. And then again, we repeat Buenas tardes. Buenas noches. Buenos dias. Repeat. Repeat after me. It's the same thing all week. Have a good night. <laughs>